In Update 2.25 of our programs for the design of sanitary and storm sewer networks, the configuration and arrangement of tables options included in the first version of Aqueductos have been incorporated. With this addition it will be much easier to present the results in the manholes and pipes tables of your project, making it possible to set not only the properties to be shown but also their order, as well as the corresponding format. In this video we will show you the characteristics of these new additions so that you can know in detail how to apply them in your designs with our programs. The first thing you will see at the end of the available panels in the settings tab of the programs, is this button. Which gives you access to the tables manager. This manager, similar to others in our programs, contains the controls to select the table you want to configure. You will see that, for each type of table, the properties or columns available to create the corresponding table will be presented here on the left. In the table to the right are, for each type of table, the properties that are currently shown. From here you can modify the header text for each of these properties. Let's put here for the property label of the manholes, the text name. For those numerical properties, you have the option to set the number of decimals to show. I will put for the property ground level, 3 decimals. And you will see that you can also, for each property, set the justification of the text. Let's change here to center. Once the configuration is done, I must click the save button, here on the right. To confirm the changes, and, when closing the dialog, we will see the updated table. It is also possible, and we go again to the tables manager, to reorder the position of the selected columns. For example, for the pipe stable, I will change the position of the nominal diameter property so that it appears after the label of the corresponding pipe section. I select it and click this buttons to move it down or up from its current position. If you click this button you will move down the property, and with this, you will remove it from the table of selected properties. I will also move up the length property. I save the changes and close the dialog. And there we have it with the columns reordered. These changes will be reflected not only in the main table but in the results so that you can export or print them keeping the settings you have set for them. And, of course, when you change the units for the presentation of results, you will see that the tables are automatically updated. Lastly. You will also find the option to reorder the manholes and sewer pipes tables according to any of the available properties or columns in the respective table. If we double click with the cursor on the header, this dialog is shown. In it you will see that, by default, the property corresponding to that column on whose header you have made the double click appears as active. But, in any case, you can select from this list which will be used in the sorting. You can also define if the sort is ascending or descending before clicking the OK button to see the reordered data. In this way it will be easier for you to verify the results and, of course, to carry out your analyzes in each design you perform with the programs. We have also defined that every time you save the current configuration of the project from the settings page, the scheme of tables that you have defined for the active project will be stored to be used as a scheme in the new projects that you create in each program. This way you will not have to modify the order and format with each new project you do. Therefore, we hope that these new features will further facilitate your designs of water distribution, sanitary sewer, 
and storm sewer networks with our programs. Thanks for your attention.